Out of all the weapon systems that the Harrier can carry and deploy, hands down, one of my most favorite ones to use most of the time is going to be those IR Mavs or the Infrared Mavericks. And the reason for that is that it's a fire and forget weapon system. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up, use, deploy the IR Mavs in the Harrier as fast and easy as possible. Let's get started. Now, starting from the beginning, pull up the rearm menu here. And when we go to select our air to ground missiles, we're going to go down to the last option and select the AGM 65F or Foxtrot, the IR Mavs. Even in the parentheses, it says IR. That is the correct Mavericks you want to select here. Don't get it confused with the laser guided versions. There's also a visual difference. If you look here at the IR Mavs, they have a gold faceplate uh, tip on them, whereas the laser guided Mavs have a clear uh, faceplate tip on that. So there's a visual way to tell the difference. The other thing about having IR Mavs too, is that it does not require the T-Pod whatsoever to deploy. We're, in fact, we're gonna be utilizing our DMT to search for targets. And then we'll go through that process here shortly. So that allows us to equip our ECM pod, which just adds another layer of uh, defensive countermeasures there with the jammer on board. So if you are doing a, a, a seed slash a cast mission, Kind of like the loadout i have here selected with the sidearms on the tips i can go in and have that jammer help me as i'm go doing the seed part of the mission once i clear that you know sa site then i can go in with the mavericks to finish off some other targets there by the way uh we can only carry four total mavericks on the harrier so you can do any combination of laser and uh, maverick whatever you want to do all of one or one of the other uh, but you're going to carry four total all right Next, we need to talk about the key binds that you need to have in place in order to go through the sequencing for uh, deploying the weapon system here. So first, we need to have our site select aft bound for our DMT that's going to cycle between the LST and the TV. Uh, we need to have our cage and uncage button bound. That's what's going to allow us to slew over the uh, seeker head on the Mav over to the DMT where we're looking at a target so they can begin the lock lock uh, lock up process. We also need to have the sensor select forward bound, which is going to allow us to juggle between INS and the IR uh, controls. And then we need to finally have the uh, TDC down the action position button bound. And so once we slew over to the target and we're looking at it, we can use T TDC down to force the seeker head to lock in on whatever you're looking at and before firing it off, obviously have the trigger button bound. And those, uh, what is it, four buttons, five buttons are all you really need to go through the sequencing here. So let's go ahead and get ourselves in the air and we'll walk you through the rest of this and actually demonstrate it all in actual practice. Now that we're airborne, let me walk you through the entire process, start to finish very fast, very easy and how to set up the Mavs and then deploy them properly. So first, we're gonna make sure our master arm is on. Next, we're gonna change master mode to air to ground. And at this point, if we look at our HUD, you'll see that we have the four crossbars here. That tells us that there's no weapon selected uh, currently and that we need to select some weapon system in order to you know, fire anything off. So we need to select the IR maps. Now, what's really important about doing this is that you actually do this ahead of you reaching your target location. The IR maps require two to three minutes, I, I believe, somewhere in that range of time to warm up before you can actually select them and deploy them. If you arrive on station without having done this and you go to uncage it and you know, you've got the target uh, sighted in on, on your DMT and you go to uncage it and nothing happens, it's because your Mavs have not warmed up and you cannot use them. So what I suggest is once you take off from your base or, or carrier or whatever it may be, go ahead and warm them up immediately. In order to do this, it's very simple. All you're gonna do is come to your stores page. You can also do this from the EW page as well by hitting the push button up here. But for this demonstration, I'll just go to the stores page. You'll see all of the weapon systems that are on board the aircraft here, your sidearms, your four IR Mavs. Um, you're gonna hit the push button for the IR Mav. And once you do that, you'll see that it boxes a, a Mav. You'll see the information here about the mode, the fuse quantity, and normally, Right here, where it says station two, it'll say STBY for standby, which means it's warming up. Once you have it warmed up, do not change anything, especially your master modes. Uh, otherwise, it'll reset that timer. Um, once you start the process, try not to, to change anything so that it's not interrupted and it doesn't prolong that warm up period. Once the Mavs are warmed up, you'll get the RDY for ready. Below that, you, you have the tone. 
I have that boxed. It, it starts off not being boxed. I like to do this. This is a preference thing. Um, when you box it, it gives you the audible beep sound that lets you know a MAF has been fired off of the Harrier. So it's just got like that audible confirmation as well. I prefer it up to you if you want it or not. We are going to now work on getting our targets. And the way we're going to do this here is we're going to come back to our nav screen here. Waypoint one has some targets over there and we're going to select DSG for designate. So we're going to uh, waypoint designate uh, waypoint one. You'll see our symbology change to the diamond. That's also going to be reflected right here on the screen. You see the diamond right here. Once we've designated that, now we can have our DMT slew over to that point and begin our sweep for targets. So I'm going to hit the uh, sensor select aft and boom, there's our IR. Uh, or there's our TV, our DMT screen. And you can see right here, actually, there's a convoy rolling through and we have a line of sight on some potential targets. Now, from this point, we need to take our uh, Maverick and have it slew over to look for these targets to lock in. In order to do this, we're gonna simply hit the cage on cage button one time. And once we do this, we have the IR Mav uh, uh, display up. Now, it's not nearly as zoomed in as the DMT. So all we can do is hit the FOV one time and we get a little bit of a bump, but even then it's not the best. And in the scenario that we're in right now, where you have a lot of buildings, urban areas, the IR maps can be a little funky. Um, they will lock onto other things outside of just a, a ground target you're tr actually trying to, to hit. It will lock on buildings, fences, uh, civilian cars, trees. So be mindful of that. But we were able to kind of bump in and get a little bit of a view. You can see the uh, convoy there turning the corner. Now you'll see here in the top left corner, it says TV. What, when you see this on the display here for the uh, IR map, that means that we are slewed to the TV or the DMT. So as I move the DMT and watch on both screens here, um, I move the DM DMT to the left, it's very fluid and smooth. And whenever I stop, Watch the IR Mav slew over. So we'll stop right here and boom, it slewed, slewed over there. If I keep going to the left, it slews over there. So as long as you have the uh, IR Mav in TV mode, it's gonna slew over to wherever you're looking at with your DMT and your final position is gonna stop and just slew over. Stop right there, it's right there, boom, boom. Pretty cool, so it allows you to kind of scan around and once you find a target immediately, that Mav is, is, is uh, uh, slings over to it and you can begin the process to, to then lock a target and fire it off. So let's go ahead and look for something here. Um, quite honestly, this is gonna be very difficult because of all the terrain and the buildings. I think the Iron Mav is gonna have a very difficult time trying to find something here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for that convoy to roll over to the front side, which should make it a little bit easy for us to, to uh, target in on uh, something. Actually, there's a vehicle right here. Let's see if we can't get this guy. So we'll slew right on it. Our Mav is actually looking in that direction. So now at this point, there's just uh, uh, just two more things I believe we need to do before we fire off this Mav. First, we need to take the uh, Mav off of TV, TV mode and put it into IR mode, uh, Mav mode. In order to do this, we're going to hit the sensor select forward once, and you'll see that we are now in IR Mav uh, mode. And that is very clear. At this point, you'll see that we have the crosshairs um, they're not filled. And what we want to have happen here for a solid lock is for these crossbars, uh, uh, the crosshairs rather, to complete a full connection. So while we're looking in the general vicinity of that little tank out there, um, what we can do is we can hit the uh, TDC action button down to force the IR MAV to lock on that position. I'm gonna press it down right now. And yep, see, perfect example the seeker head slewed over to what looks like the building or a tree to the left and that's not actually what i wanted it to do so i'm going to try and break the lock here and we're going to try and get it back over to nope it keeps on wanting to lock on that tree and so that's a a big problem when you're utilizing the uh oh, we got the convoy coming down right now when you try to use the mavericks in these highly dense areas you're going to get a lot of these false locks so now I've moved it over and actually I have the lead vehicle of the convoy. The way I can tell is that the IR Mav is actually locked and tracking that first vehicle. So now that we have the vehicle locked, we are now ready to uh, deploy the weapon system. We're gonna hit 
our uh, pickle button and that one is off. Good hit, good hit right there. And as you can see, we've got all of the vehicles scattering around. So we'll get back into the jet here. Now that is how we deploy a single Maverick. Now you can ripple off Mavericks and shorten up that process a, a little bit here. And the way to do that is we come back down to our IR Mav, you're going to select it. We go to quantity. We're going to select three because we have three remaining. If we had full four, then we would have four. But since we shot one off, we have three left. What's going to end up happening now is once we slew over, we find a target, lock it, shoot it off, it's automatically going to, going to pull up the next Maverick and it's already going to have that Maverick looking where we last shot the previous um, uh, Maverick at so that we can slew over to a target that's next to it. And we have a perfect setup right now because the convoy spread out. We got one vehicle right here and we've got a second one right here. We've got a third one right here. So what I'm going to try and demonstrate here now is how we can rip them off. We'll, we'll get this first one shot off. The next IR Mav will automatically pull up and I'll sling, I'll uh, 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 slew over to this target, fire it off. Next IR Mav will automatically load up and I will slew it over to this target and try and hit that. So let's go ahead and start here from the beginning on this target. Now that we have that in view, we're gonna remember, we're gonna uncage and we're gonna take it off of, from TV to uh, sensor select forward for IR Mav and we will also hit the FOV for a little bit tighter shot. Once we have eyes on, I'm gonna hit that TDC action to lock that target. It's got a lock and we're gonna fire off. And now look at that. The next IR Mav has already loaded up. We're gonna zoom in. We're gonna move it over to the left here. It locked, firing. It's gonna slew back to that same spot. We're gonna zoom in a little bit and we're gonna just adjust it to our side here. We've got a lock on the next vehicle and we're off and we've let off three Mavericks in quick su succession here. And we negated the, the need to have to um, hit the uncage to go from the DMT to the warhead. And so that makes our life a little bit easier here. Now, when you get good at this, you can ripple these off a lot quicker than what I'm demonstrating here, but I'm trying to take it in stride so that you guys can kind of see the process and not go too fast. So we've got our first one coming in right here. one should have a second one coming in any second now there it is and number three should be coming in about any second now there it is one two three and if we had the fourth one we would have took that guy out right there and as you can see it's super effective. It's a fire and forget system. I could have shot all three of those, turn and burn and jetted back to RTB to rearm, refuel or take on uh, a next mission or just, you know, hit, hit back to the uh, back to the hangar to have a couple of brewskis with the boys after a successful mission. And that's one of the great things about the um, IR maps. I really enjoy uh, be, for that functionality. It really makes the Harrier a, a real quick strike you get in you let them off and you're out of there you don't have to linger around exposed too long if you really dial in your workflow on the mavericks here you can be super super effective and hopefully after this demonstration here it helps you out in your journey with the harrier and how to deploy the ir maverick so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys uh, learned a little something here it makes your life a little easier learning the harrier and how to deploy the mavericks be on the lookout for more videos and check out the rest of the playlist on the Harrier Fest near easy tutorial series right here on the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, call sign Grammy out.